Hello, everyone. Welcome to Asia Society. My name is Joyce, and I'm head of gallery and exhibitions here at Asia Society Hong Kong Center. Um, thank you for making the effort to come here today to attend our event. Um, this is Artists in Conversation, and this is a special program related to our current exhibition that is currently on in the Chantal Miller Gallery just next door here. So the exhibition opened in March of this year and will run until June 25th. And this uh, event is so special because we have all five Hong Kong artists uh, represented and present with us today. And I would love for them to introduce themselves. Um, so we're going to go down the line <laughs> and hear from each of the artists. Um, this uh, talk and conversation will be happening uh, bilingually so in Cantonese and English interpretation when necessary. So, Hello everyone, I'm Wallace. Um, I born and raised in Hong Kong. Um, I study five arts in um, IT University, but uh, it's like uh, citizen learning, so in Hong Kong Art Centre Art School. Thank you. Lan. Hi, I speak Cantonese. Good, good, good. I'm Hai Yuan Liang. Uh, I'm going to talk about how to do it. Uh,要講啊,教背景,咁就我喺中文大學讀書嘅,咁就喺嗰度讀藝術啦,咁就讀埋,呃,丟數啦,咁樣,咁就一路,呃,細個喺中國長大嘅,咁,呃,大概十
has been unchanged over all these years. It is really invested in nature, landscapes, and he draws a lot of inspiration from the natural world. Hello, I'm Zhou Yunyun, Yami. I'm also from Hong Kong. Thank Yaman Chao is born in Hong Kong and she had no actual um, interaction with the art world until she reached her later teenage years when she enrolled at the Hong Kong Art School in Hong Kong. And by chance, she came across sculpture as an artistic medium, and since then has gone and moved um, in that direction. Um, and sculpture is really her main focus for now. So thank you all for introducing yourselves. And I think a very good place to start would be, in some cases, already answered, but how did you first come into contact with sculpture? And why do you keep doing it? Mm. Painting. Gum, then hi, a yet jojo, that zip my man who tell her artist do lo hotile, so hoti joati lap tight my mixed media gay job and dollar. Gum, I got that lap tight job and so we be do go white do, gun jong hui tight do, or they I should gas some gong a yellow. Gum tongue painting job and home tongue, young way, let all go white do be gun jong hui tight, so we. 多一個思考角度,帶到俾觀眾,咁呢個係我覺得做立體創作一個令到更能夠將自己表向觀眾展示自己嘅意念嘅媒介咯。Violet also started um, her artistic career in paintings mainly, but evolved into sculpture because she feels that it is a more um, three-dimensional way of looking at life and it's able to better express her artistic beliefs and it's more challenging to her and therefore more exciting um, so that's that's what made her make that switch my Hello 光影、lighting问题 so Danny sets his own standards and he considers sculpture as really a spatial awareness exercise. He is always keenly observing his surroundings and how things fit into a certain space or the negativity of a space. And similar to Violet, he also expresses himself using drawings, but really only as a counterbalance to his primary focus in sculpture making. So. Oh, yeah, I have a little bit of information about Danny. I'm going to talk about it. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. I'm going to talk about it. I'm going to talk about it. 
如果佢話同埋雕塑嗰個分別咧，好似 Danny 咁講係一個時間同埋一個空間嘅處理啦。咁但係如果一個畫咧，佢係一個畫面係可以好有故事性嘅，即係你由出生講到死，即係好多嘢可以擺一個畫面度。但係雕塑咧，誒係難難啲係講好多嘢，但係要係一個片刻嘅時空。你係捕捉咗落嚟，就係、是、造成你嘅雕塑。佢好難喺一個畫面當中講好多嘢，但係我覺得你要抽取你邊一個時空去表達成為一個雕塑咧，我覺得呢個係誒、呃、都要啲時間去掌握，同埋每個藝術家嘅展現都唔同。我覺得呢個個特色係誒、呃、人人唔同嗰個發揮空間可以好大咯。誒、hey, ，sorry， 講完。Oh, Margaret wanted to interject with um her her thoughts about Uh, sculpture versus uh, drawing or painting, and to her, it's very interesting how it's much easier to convey a uh, narrative in painting. You can see the whole storyline, whereas to her, creating sculpture is more about capturing the moment, and that inherently is is a more difficult task because you really have to distill um, the whole story into just one moment. Um, so. You know, I think to most of the artists here, the counterbalance and the practice of both methods are necessary. You know, you need the painting and the drawing to make yourself a better sculptor, and you can't really work in just sculpture alone. Yeah. 我想啱啱係回應翻阿 Margaret 咧，佢啱啱講開係誒佢嗰個問題。其實咧，我自己一路以嚟咧係睇雕塑，我當係一個立體嘅作品啦，同埋一張畫咧。點樣去睇佢咧？點樣欣賞咧？喺我自己嘅平時咧，我唔覺得分別好大嘅嚇，因為你畫一張畫咧，你會點樣營造一個空間？你點樣去製造嗰個立體感嚇？咁其實都係喺個光影嗰度問題出現。咁我做對雕塑咧、立體咧，其實我都係同樣嗰個睇處理嘅方法，因為係你喺唔同嘅 angle 睇，佢好似係一個立體可以摸到嘅。咁但係其實。佢喺影像上面咧，佢可以係一個平面嘅，等於你係影一張相。咁我就變咗會係誒、呃，會兩樣同時去思考咧。我點樣喺我做緊雕塑嗰陣咧，我點樣選擇一啲嘅佢嗰個空間啦，佢嗰個立體感係點樣係最好咧嘅表現咧。咁變咗我嘅睇法咧係畫同雕塑咧，我係會同一個誒角度去睇嘅。So, so Danny's response, and to to counter what Margaret was saying, actually, um, to Danny's mind, actually, both artistic mediums he treats equally. So he feels that sculpture is is also able to present a full narration. So these are two artists presenting quite different perspectives、um, to their craft. 咁我哋講翻我哋而家誒而家做緊嘅展覽先，拉翻埋嚟。咁我就想帶出，即係我哋今次個展覽叫《融合二》啦。咁二係二嘅大寫啦，亦都係一個同融二個二有個諧音嘅。咁我哋今次點解咁 focus 所有雙面嘅嘢 ？The duality of things 就係因為我哋今次嘅展覽當然係兩地嘅藝術家一齊合作啦。用運用兩種唔同嘅材料啦，咁同埋專注係用在呢個雲石同埋木材嘅。咁講起我哋香港呢個 element 就係、是、誒、呃、用香港嘅木材啦。咁我就不妨問一問大家，其實你哋嘅木材 ，the source of the material of wood 係嚟自邊度嘅咧？你哋喺邊度取呢個材料咧？我嗰啲咧，其實我都唔係好清楚佢哋係咩木嚟嘅。我大部分都係啲俾人誒遺棄啊，或者係啲可能之前打風，或者而家誒香港有個叫 Y Park 嘅地方，佢哋係處理啲廢木咁樣嘅。我就喺嗰度揀，可能我望大概佢會唔會係我想要嗰隻色啊，同埋佢個 size 佢形狀嚟揀嘅啫。我就唔係好清楚佢哋係咩木。啊，我啲木都係執翻嚟嘅，咁通常都係打風冧咗樹啊，咁好似啊。亞文咁講啦，都喺誒 Y Park 有一部分啦。咁佢哋以前誒、呃、山竹個年代有車咗幾車俾我咧，咁用到而家未用完啊，嚇、嗯、咁樣咯。因為好大棵嘅樟樹，大到一點五米直徑嘅，嚇佢係
用幾車夾豆夾過嚟我嗰度咁樣咯，嚇有一啲我分咗俾佢哋用咁樣咯，嚇。我自己嗰啲木咧都係一都係一啲啲廢木啦，咁我由開始做木咧，其實我一路都係其實好似都係用緊樟木咯，因為我好喜歡嗰種味道，特別係誒、呃、當你去切開個木嗰陣時，其實成個工作室個環境都係好香咯，我好喜歡嗰、那個誒、呃，除咗你觸感之外，其實有個。誒、呃、嗰、那個誒、呃、味覺嘅嗰個感覺啦，係啦。So my question to the artists evolved around the duality of the exhibition and the materials used, which is primarily marble from Italy and wood from Hong Kong. And in terms of wood selection, the artists have very different um, uh, sources of of wood collection. And Yaman was saying how she often uses orphaned wood that she just discovers from Wai Park. Which is a collection point in Hong Kong, and Alung um, actually benefited from a boon from a major typhoon, typhoon number ten that happened in Hong Kong a few years ago, called San Jok. And at that time, I think it was the uh, there was a government department that actually went around town collecting all these felled trees. So you know, even five years later, I think Alung is still using the proceeds of of that. And so, in a very unlikely way, this exhibition is. Super sustainable, and we're recycling all these materials that that would otherwise just be discarded and and ready for the bin. And so there's this concept of making something beautiful out of something that was refused、um, or just left abandoned. Yeah. Hey. 咁我又想問下大家咧。其實我哋喺呢個融合二嘅展覽度咧，其實大家當初嘅反應對於呢、這、一個即係運過嚟嘅意大利雲石，究竟係點樣樣一個反應咧？不知所措<笑>。其實咧，誒、呃、好有趣嘅，今次呢一個 fusion 呢、這個誒諗、呃、法咧。係我哋從未諗過嘅，所以對方究竟係點樣做咧？佢又對方又點樣去改我哋嘅作品咧？我哋大家都係唔係好知嘅。咁但係就正正咧，就係最有趣咧，就係今次呢個咁樣嘅呢個做法，令我哋大家咧覺得係誒又即係好刺激啦。有啲係未知道點樣啦，但係又好快就會發生啦。咁成件事咧，我哋都係誒其實係。即係我我感覺到啊，好似我哋個個都係好愉快嘅，即係成件事係。係我自己覺得咧就好得意嘅。咁我同佢哋意大利誒 artist 喺視像交流嘅時候，我發覺佢好緊張，好驚我哋劏爛佢件作品啦。咁<笑>我就就手啲啦，咁樣啦，就諗好多個方法，唔好劏到佢咁爛。本身我諗住打爛佢先。<笑> So my question posed to the artist was, what were your initial reactions when working with the marble that was shipped over from Italy? And Yaman's first reaction was, I don't know what to do with it <laughs> at all. Danny felt how interesting that this really is a fusion project. But to all artists seated, I think this whole exhibition concept was novel, which is why everyone decided to take part. And it was.、Um, Challenge and problem solving, sort of every step of the way, and Alung's、um, response also was how interesting it was to see、um, their Italian artistic counterparts sort of look at them in shock and horror and fearfulness over the Zoom calls. That was the only method of communication available, because the Italian artists really didn't know. What these Hong Kong artists present were going to do to at that point their artwork, because until the fusion process had happened, it was really just an unfinished piece of marble sculpture. And Leung's usual、um, practice is to hack it to bits and to just demolish it,、mm. but he held himself back <laughs> and <laughs> did not do that, and instead、um, sort of. Tiptoed around the the Italian marble that he was given to create his、um, final joint piece with Jacob. 
That's yeah. true. Yeah. Um, while we're on that topic of working together with um, Italian counterparts and internationally, um, so 其實我說一點因為很難得本身已經兩個作品本身已經很少有的事情了所以其實我們這次的展覽已經有幾樣不同形式的合作形式來讓我很多不同的感受我們的展覽因為很類似和也是在講人的關係我估如果是我們最主要是建立了因為雖然剛才馬克會說我們的要求作品是講空間和講到 so Violet was saying that the um, the con this exhibition is really about the connection between two people, and it shocked her, really, like to her core, at how much she was able to connect with uh, Flavia Roballo, who was. Um, uh, Violet's partner in, in this exhibition because the, there were so many barriers and the barriers were so real. So physically, you know, neither could fly to Hong Kong or Italy. And then there was the linguistic barrier because Flavia only speaks Italian and Violet prefers to speak in Cantonese. There was no English in between. But similar to what Margaret and Danny were saying about spatial distance, um, it was very interesting to Violet to be able to fuse both the connection between two people, two artists, the connection between two um, materials, and the connection, the physical distance she felt was really bridged um, by this continuous exercise. Yeah. Okay. 我想說兩句因為我回應回馬尼頭先說的問題溝通好像一個國際語言一樣東西我完全感受到的另外我在大家每個人有一個 <laughs> wow. <laughs> so 
Danny was responding to Violet and really concurred with her thoughts about this exhibition being really an exercise of connecting between two people and two cultures. But Danny also felt, he really throughout this exhibition process really feels that um, artistic creation and the linguistic ability to be able to speak, communicate via words can actually be a clear cut. He, at no point in these two years did he feel held back by the inability to speak Italian or Cantonese, vice versa. Instead, he really felt that the creation process was a language in and of itself. So both him and Francesca, who is Danny's uh, working partner in this exhibition, um, just really uh, spoke the same language, similar to what Violet was saying with Flavia. Um, and in Cantonese, there's a saying, Samling Sang Tong, which kind of loosely translates to your heart connects telepathically. And this is what all five artists here, um, I think really truly felt in, this, uh, in the course of this exhibition. And furthermore, Danny also um, made a move. <laughs> um, on the day of the exhibition opening, he actually invited uh, Francesca to, to dance with him in front of their joint sculptures in the gallery, in the chamber, because that really was a culmination of so many emotions, really, on the day. So thank you all for that. And so we've spoken about the international exchange between the Hong Kong artists working together, five Hong Kong artists working together with the five Italian artists. But locally here, they Maybe 因為當中有我的老師<笑><笑> <laughs> so, um, having spoken about the interaction between the Italian artists and the Hong Kong artists, between the Hong Kong artists alone here, I mean, there's been a lot of camaraderie in the past year. And actually, um, Margaret and Violet's studio are quite close together. And um, Margaret is a student of Danny's. So, in their get togethers, when we could, uh, during the peak of COVID last year and even some time before that, I think the, the conversation between everyone was not entirely fixated on art alone, but it also included a lot of philosophical conversations, silly conversations. Um, let's see how much pork Joyce can eat in one sitting. Um, I mean, alone saw me <laughs> eat a lot of rice once when I was stress eating. Um, just eating. In, in <laughs> just eating oh. during the course of um, planning this exhibition. So I think um, besides an international approach, I think the, the local bonding and the local connections have been equally uh, precious to everyone involved in this exhibition. Work 
係解決問題啊、食啊、玩啊，誒、呃，甚至乎係好多好多誒、呃、生活上嘅所有嘢都會攞出嚟講。咁嗰樣嘢係可能當中都會牽涉誒創作嘅題材啦。咁呢樣嘢係可以好廣泛，即係大家個深度可以好好深啊。因為我哋即係誒，因為我同誒、呃、意大利嗰五位 artist 傾過偈啦，佢哋基本上全部都係誒，即、呃、係全職 involve 就係藝術啦。咁我哋其實喺香港，其實我哋都有可能有啲唔同嘅工作要處理啦。咁所以依個我哋其實有好多問題係比較多要去解決嘅，但係就係、是。經過咁嘅溝通，其實就可以解決得到咯。覺得。Violet raised an amazing point, which was that、um, having lived through COVID and the pandemic, I mean, simply because we were all clustered together, did not necessarily mean that the hearts would go closer. So it's not a given that these connections are bound to happen. Like they still had to work at it and work towards it,、um, and. Yeah, but that is kind of really precious. Yeah, I'm sorry. 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 I'm
誒、嗯，雖然係 partner 一齊做嘢，但係我哋都係獨立嘅 artist 啊，咁所以咧其實係誒唔會因為一件作品而改變到自己一路嘅思維，只不過係順應今次因為有合作嘅機會，咁樣就睇下點樣抽一啲元素加落人哋度咁樣，但係原本自己個路誒、呃、就唔會有變嘅，好大唔會有好明顯嘅變化。我諗唔係話改變我哋自己嘅思維啦，係可能我哋係。由由 fusion one 咁樣，我哋做咗一件作品，可能我好中意誒誒嗰個鳳凰嗰件作品咁嘅。而 fusion two， 我會因為有呢個經驗而我去延續，我引引咗我哋之後都仲有兩件係用鳳凰嚟做主題嘅作品。咁但係我唔係改變我思維，我都係繼續做緊我自己嘅諗法上嘅嘢。只不過我經歷咗今次個展覽嘅時候，佢令到我更加多嘅經驗，更加多誒誒、呃呃，我可以我可以想再表達得多誒。呃完善咗 Fusion One 嗰個鳳凰嘅下集咁樣咯。Thank you. So the question was whether or not the、uh, artistic direction had changed, and the collective answer is no. <laughs> but only in so far as this exhibition has only added to their experience. But the general direction and their artistic direction is they are loyal to it, and they will keep going in in their own style, in their own trajectory. Um, going forward, which is very, very good to hear. <laughs> And so, what are your next steps after this exhibition? How can we follow your work after this exhibition closes in June? 我哋點可以即係跟蹤同繼續關注你哋咧？下一個 project 會有啲乜嘢？會有乜嘢方向咧？可唔可以透露下？我嚟緊誒六月咧，會有一個展覽，係做一啲關於誒、呃、環保嘅。其實今次啲廢木都係環保啦。嗯。咁誒、呃，我遲啲會誒點、呃、樣通知大家咧？嚟<笑>關注我嘅 IG <笑> website。好啊，好啊。或者 Facebook。好啊，好啊。阿倫咧？誒、呃，我嘅作品咧就遲啲就應該要去到二零二四年先會再展啦。咁、嗯、其餘嗰啲可能係一件半件咯嚇、嗯。如果多啲嘅誒，可能個 scale 大啲嘅要二零二四年先會有嚇。呢、嗯、段時間會喺工作室度做嘢嚇。嗯 ，so going forward after this exhibition, Learn will be preparing for. We'll we'll spend the next the rest of this year. Kind of convalescing and preparing、um, for hopefully more artistic output in 2024. I think everyone deserves a rest after this.、Um, Violet will have a new exhibition in June、um, after this one closes, and she'll let us know about it. Margaret, we know, is heading off to Finland <laughs> on a, on a lovely art, residency. Yeah, artisan residency. Yeah. I would say three months in Finland. Wonderful, Daniel. 誒、uh, 我誒、uh, 其實今誒、uh, 半年前咧，除咗今次 Fusion 嘅展覽之對前咧，我喺十二月嗰陣咧就係、是、喺 Grotto Fine Art 嗰度咧做過一個個展啦，一個 solo 嘅展覽。咁就如果下一個展覽咧，我諗最快都要二零二四啦，因為誒、uh, 做雕塑咧，我就通常如果講係 solo 嘅 exhibition 咧，大概三年度先做一次嘅。因為太短時間做唔到，嗯，咁啦。Danny only does solo exhibitions once every three years,、uh, as her, per his usual practice. His next show will also be taking place in 2024, and will ride out the rest of 2023, really ruminating on this exhibition's experiences.、Um, and honestly, it just takes time to create these things. And Yaman. 我其實都係未有咁快，因為都好多嘢都仲傾緊啊，等緊，所以等睇我 IG， 我會鋪嘢噶。Yeah, Min is still in the in thinking creatively about her next steps as well. So without further ado, I'd love to turn the the microphone over to the audience, and I'd invite everyone for an audience response. Any questions? You have about the exhibition. You can ask me, or any、um, questions, thoughts, or feedback about the exhibition if you've seen it. But now is really your chance to ask the artists one on one any pressing queries you might have. So yes, please. 
that working? Mm, is it? Yeah, maybe just speak into it. Okay, is that okay? Uh, okay. Yes. Um, yeah, well, firstly, um, Joyce, let me just um, congratulate you. I think it's a, a most brilliant and so um, much. original uh, initiative. So, um, you know, really all kudos to you and to the artists. Um, I think it's a, a fantastic show. Um, my question is um, relates to um, the point you made about um, uh, emotional connectivity and um, potential telepathy. Because uh, when you embark, you know, on um, a sculpture, you articulate a mental vision of what you're going to create. It may not be the final um, embodiment of that vision, but it is a vision of where you want to get to. So my question is how, um, I mean, it's difficult enough when you're with somebody in person, but on Zoom, even more difficult. How do you synchronize that vision? With another another mind. Thank you. Let me pose that question to the artist. 咁呢位觀眾咧就好有興趣我哋呢個心靈相通嘅概念。咁佢都好瞭解到作為一個藝術家，作為一個雕塑家，即係你會喺呢個腦海度好快就構思到你一個最終嘅藝術品究竟係咩模樣。咁佢就話：講真，你同一間房同你隔離嗰個人想心靈相通都難啦。咁今次嘅今次為咗呢個特展。你點樣樣可以即係你點樣同人夾到啊？佢會有興好有興趣知咯。或者我講一句就係，因為我之前同誒我嗰個 artist 咧 ，Arena 咧就有個 conversation 啦。咁佢誒講咗一句，我覺得都叮咗我一下嘅，就係、是、佢 read 我嘅 lines 咯，即係我個 sculpture 嗰、那個。Outline the lines on my sculpture. He, uh, just like reading my writing, slowly reading my work, reading my how I speak, and then use his way to answer my writing. So he created a partnership. So Margaret, thank you for your question. First of all, um, Margaret's response um, is that in her working relationship with Aurelien, um, the Frenchman residing in Italy. She actually didn't know how much connectivity there would be, but it was much to her surprise, and it like kind of lit a fire in her brain, is that when she made her side of the sculpture and sent it over to Aurelian, she, Margaret really felt that Aurelian read her sculpture like it was something he knew how to read. So he followed the lines and the outline, physical outline of her sculpture and made a response according to those lines. Even Margaret is not quite able to say exactly how it happened, but she knew that they were of the, on the same wavelength. And that is what gave her confidence to move ahead in finishing that sculpture together. Uh, were there any cases where the vision differed and um, mm. you, know, you got to the, the stage mm -hmm. of handing mm -hmm. over your design or your concept, yeah. um, but the other artist uh, turned out to have a very different yeah. vision of where you were going? Yeah, I've asked that <laughs> question as well, and they've all been quite mum about it, <laughs> but I will ask again, since this is now in the public domain. Then this man said that he wanted to talk to him once again, that he was not possible to be so close, so beautiful. Have you ever had a chance to talk to him in the last two years? Have you ever had a chance to talk to him in the last two years? Have you ever had a chance to talk to him in the last two years? Yes. I was very close to my work. Okay. Yes. 我哋係用一個信任嘅系統 ，OK？ 誒喺我哋兩個未有信任之前，可能信任中間嘅 curator 啦，咁樣，咁佢哋都會相信，無論佢件嘢交到嚟我手上，俾我打爛或者重組，最終都會有一件作品出現翻嘅。咁我哋好簡單，咁大家互相望一望佢嘅作品，佢講少少嘅 artist statement。就咁開始啦，咁我哋基本上係冇對話嘅。好，謝阿梁。
。我我就同我就同佢都相反嘅。我哋 fusion one 嗰時我哋冇咁多溝通嘅，但係到 fusion two 嗰時，我哋有咗 fusion one 嗰個經驗咧，我係同佢唔止傾作品咯，我哋好多私底下都會喺度溝通嘅。所以咧係我哋唔。唔係話淨日點樣去傾合作嗰件作品，可能我其實我哋傾緊 concept 嗰陣時，都可能大概有個諗法，我我應該我諗到做咩，但我我有個 concept 喺度，但係未係有一個好實質咁嘅形態嘅，係慢慢同佢溝通落嚟嘅話，嗰、那個形態先至慢慢喺個腦海度生成出嚟嘅啫。So two different artists, two very different responses. Um, no one denies that there might have been differing concepts as to the end result of each artwork. But because each artist was paired with different artists, clearly the, the relationship is going to differ. And in the case of uh, Hao Yunlung and uh, Jacob Cartwright, um, they were a very male-to-male -male pair and did not communicate in words. <laughs> so it was, he yeah. says, a silent friendship. Um, it was... Uh, built on a non-verbal trust. And so the only thing that kept them going <laughs> was really perhaps a sort of trust in the, trust in the interim, in the go-between, in the curator's faith and belief in this, but also in their own respective um, artistic statements. So they had a vague idea of who each other was, but they just got on with it. So that was their method that worked for them. And for Yaman, I think in the first year, it was also kind of silent treatment between herself and Lorenzo. But in the second year, it sort of dissolved a little bit. And um, after a few karaoke sessions, <laughs> we discovered that Lorenzo was much more, um, much more verbose than he might let on. And then it became a very verbal sort of conversation. So the experience of year one and year two um, also varied. So it, like the course of any interpersonal human relationship. So um, no definite rules, I think, is the conclusion we might draw from this. And Danny. I want to talk a little bit about it. I want to talk a little bit 誒意大利個 artist 咧，叫 Francesca。咁我瞭解咗佢嘅作品，佢變咗誒相我哋睇到咧，喺個網上邊睇到咧，我已經即刻哇，係咪我好彩咧？定係我咁夠運咧？即係因為佢用 marble 咧，佢係做佢係做得同大自然有關嘅。我又係嘅。咁佢咧就用 marble 咧係做咗一啲樹啊，樹木啊。咁我睇到我已經知啦，咦！我哋香港用木去做喎，我就用木去做翻石，完全將嗰個 material 咧係倒換咗。但係誒樹同石咧放埋一齊嘅人咧，我哋兩個人咧係完全做咗一個小嘅願景出嚟，就係剛剛就係我想做嘅嘢。我個我我覺得係唔知係咪好彩啦。Um, Danny would like to thank you for what he thought was a very interesting question and. His response is really, he thinks maybe he got lucky, perhaps. Um, Francesca's work is also very um, involved with nature, which means that between Danny and Francesca, there was already a foundation that they could rely on. Um, they, they derive energy and inspiration from the same source, which is nature. Um, but also with modern technology, you can sort of have, you know, play due diligence on your respective partners. And uh, Francesca has a huge following on Instagram, and he was able to, to preview her works in situ, as it were. And so they had great fun um, utilizing two different materials, shrinking two different materials, because, um, and I'm adding to what um, Danny has not said, but both of these artists are used to creating large scale, monumental scale works outdoors. So they both had to bring it indoors and scale it according to um, Hong Kong dimensions as per my advice. So um, I think they really came from a similar starting point, which is what made the partnership um, run so smoothly. And Danny's additional element to this is that he really sought to make wood work like stone, and Francesca sought to use stone to work into a wood-like object. So they sort of reversed 
their roles in this. Um, so there was never any direct clash in the course of their um, artistic partnership. Right. So I would love to hear from more of you. If any of you have any questions. Yes, please, gentleman in the back. Hi, so thank you for um, the lovely uh, talk and exchange. Um, obviously, in the world of sculpture, we've recently lost... Uh, Fumi. Fe fe yes, Jimmy. Yes. And uh, any thoughts on that? Um, and I would like to ask each and every um, artist who... Um, what are some of the sculptures, they, they, the sculptors they look up mm -hmm. to? Who are some of the icons, the idols, mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. as such? Thank you. Thanks for your question. Mm. 大家聽聽聞到啦,即係啊著名大師最近過咗身啦,咁即係提起大師,咁大家誒會唔會讓某某幾位歷史人物即係作為自己嘅一個靈魂之柱或者創作嘅誒依靠咧?我就冇特定
Thank you so much for your question. 我谂大家都大概明白呢个解读啦，即系未来嘅雕塑有咩前途咧？即系加上而家有 three D printing 啊、AI 啊、机械啊，咁你哋会唔会觉得有危机感咧？大家不妨可以分享下。其实诶、呃，我觉得诶。呃而家真係多咗好多科技，或者大家都好睇即係科技嗰樣嘢啦。但係好似正如我先我講，我自己作品係關於人同人之間嘅關係啦。咁我覺得誒、嗯，就算無論你個作品係唔係用誒、呃，即係其實因為我自己就冇一個好大嘅即係危機感依樣嘢咯。因為我覺得作品最緊要就係帶出人同人嘅關係，同埋本身自己藝術家，你可能用咩媒介去表達到你自己嘅。嗰、那個嗰、那個感感受或者感想咧，依、這個先係最重要咯。唔係因為嗰個媒介去主導去你去做個作品，係你去揾一個適合嘅媒介去做你個作品。依、這個先係我哋嘅個責任個任務。係。謝 Violet。Um, Violet's initial response is a, a very telling one.、Um, sort of the artistic, the artist's responsibility. Is to express, and one should not be led by the nose、um, with technological developments as to which medium they choose. As long as they are expressing themselves in the way they know how,、um, there is no reason to feel threatened by the rise of different kind of innovations or technology. So she is sticking to her path and going to keep creating in sculpture, and feels relatively confident about it. 其實我都好認同啊 ，Wow 咧講呢樣嘢，因為其實我點解做雕塑係因為我可能我細個係集中力極度低下，跟住我媽咪以為細個以為我唔識講嘢嗰啲嚟噶，所以我唔係話睇誒個雕塑嘅未來係點樣，而係雕塑係我嘅溝通嘅渠道，而可以佢為唯一一樣令到我可以集中注意力嘅嘢咯。So Yaman's response is that、um, to her. The creation of sculpture is is crucial in her life. It is the way she communicates,、um, and so the idea of what sort of technological innovations is almost irrelevant to her because referencing a story from childhood,、um, Yaman was a very、um, sort of unfocused child, and she couldn't really, she couldn't concentrate really for most of her life, and sculpture was the only thing that brought her around. So to her, this is something she needs, rather than something fanciful. So the technology can keep going,、um, but she will still need to create, keep creating sculpture. Yeah. Thank you, Danny. 係，我當然咧係阿 Val 嚟講咧，我都好同意嘅。咁但係就有一樣嘢咧係誒，我自己嘅睇法咧就係誒，如果你作為一個創作嘅人咧，誒，只要你自己係喜歡做嘅嘢咧，其實你去做就得㗎啦。唔需要考慮太多問題，咁所以我呢個係純粹係我個人啊，我唔會用一個危機感去睇件事，因為我覺得係誒、呃、我哋唔係做緊一個比賽，係好自然咁去做自己嘅嘢，已經已經係滿足噶啦。嗯、um, ，and Danny's advice really is that、um, you need to focus on yourself and keep doing sort of what you do. Um, there is no need to feel threatened, and and there is no direct competition in between the two. So technological advancement and artistic creation can live side by side.、Um, and you know, if if it's at different paces, then it's fine. And one, an artist should not feel burdened by the knowledge that something else is happening in parallel. So that's a really interesting response from Danny, really. And so I would like to thank everyone. Present for your time,、um, taking the time to come to Asia Society to listen and, and to participate in our event and conversation, and I would like to thank、uh, each and every one of the five artists present, Violet, Ala, Margaret, Danny, Tong Yaman, for、um, sharing their time with us as well, and for their artistic souls in creating such a beautiful exhibition for us. I'm very, I'm very grateful. <laughs> thank you. Thank you all. Thank you. 
And um, finally, because my team will kill me if I don't say this, but we are actually organizing uh, artist studio visits um, to visit Violet Studio in Sakit May and uh, Danny's studio in Fortan in the coming weeks. So do look out for that. I think the dates are June 1st for Danny and June 7th for Violet. And now at the uh, conclusion of this particular event, I invite everyone to walk the brisk walk over to the gallery to take a look at the exhibition in which all these five artists are involved. So the gallery closes at six. Please feel free to roam. Thank you so much. Thank you, everyone. <laughs>